Hi guys, today we're going to talk a bit about cat litter. Now I know this isn't a project video, but I just wanted to share what we've been doing in case any of you want to try it. Now there are lots of good quality litters out there that do a good job at reducing odors, but we all know they're kind of pricey, especially considering this is something just for cats to poop into. Now about a year ago we switched to using fireplace wood pellets and it actually works pretty good and best of all, it's super cheap. First let's look at the price difference. A decent box of cat litter costs about $8.49 a box, although you can get it on sale from time to time for about 5 or 6 bucks, but it's usually $7 or $8. And the really high end stuff and bigger boxes are about $20 to $21. Now both of them don't even come close to the value of the pellets with this huge 40 pound bag for only $6.49. And to quickly crunch the numbers, if you were to use two or three boxes a month at an average cost of $7 a box, you're looking at between $170 and $250 a year. Compare that to the pellets where we use less than a bag a month and at less than $7 a bag, you're looking at $84 per year or less. Now one thing I will note is some cats don't like this because when they're brand new, some brands are packed harder than others. This one's not too bad. Some of them are pretty hard and they're a little bit sharp on the feet, I think. So they don't always like walking on it. Most of mine don't care, but one of ours doesn't really like walking on it. So she kind of just hops in and hops out and spends as little time as possible inside of there. So that's something to look into. And also the uh, transition time is, is uh, probably the worst time when you have the old style litter and you're trying to gradually add some of this stuff and with the two different uh, cleaning processes where you have to scoop out the bad stuff of the clumping litter and then you have this stuff where you're scooping out the good stuff it's uh, it's really a shit show honestly um, that was probably the worst time for us to actually switch over so when it wasn't going good for probably two or three weeks Finally, I said enough of this. I got rid of all the clumping litter. We went straight with this stuff 100% and the cats weren't too happy about it, but within a week or so, everyone was back in the box. So uh, it's been going fine since then. I think you'll have an easier time with younger cats. Uh, our little guy, Diego, just loves digging in these things. He gets in here and he has a little party digging holes. Um, the older cats obviously don't like it as much. So the process to clean with this uh wood pellet is a little bit different than your standard scoopable litter and the reason why is because the clumpable litter clumps up and you scoop out the bad stuff and you throw it out but with this the bad stuff crumbles to like a sawdust and if you scoop you end up getting the good stuff now when we first started using this we would sift all the good stuff and dump it into like another container and we dump out the uh the bad stuff um, but now we've got a different process for that and I'll show you that in a minute but what's different here also is that well poop doesn't really clump or anything so you sort of have to find that stuff dig it out first and then you can move on to get rid of the uh, pee so what I start by doing is taking my little scooper here and I just sort of break everything up so that any of the clumpy piece pieces will break down to sawdust and you can see some of it there just breaks down to a, a powder and then to make this cleanup easier I bought this little setup and I'll see if I can find the link they sell these at Walmart there's a couple of different brands but I like this one because it's got the big holes in the grates so what it is it's a multiple piece unit and it usually has two bottom pieces so what you do is you throw all your litter into one of the bottom pieces. You have this on top. You grab a clean one underneath. You put this on top of the clean one. You dump all your dirty stuff in there, shake it up. And then once you're done, you dump all the bad stuff out and you put your clean stuff back in a tray and hide the other one underneath. But you don't actually leave the litter in this strainer, sifter thing and let the cats pee and poop in here. Otherwise, it'll get all sticky and clog up. So what we do is we just use these regular cheap cat litter boxes and we use this just for the cleaning. So I'll show you how that works. Now that I have this all uh, crushed 
pushed up. Try to do this with one hand. So we just dump everything in there. So now that it's shaken up, then I just dump the good stuff back into that container, that litter box. Okay, so here we have everything all sifted up. So this is just like broken down wood pellets. And here we have just an airtight container. We've got an air freshener in there and some more of the rocks. We'll look at the rocks after. Those are to help uh, freshen everything. So we just dump this into our plastic bag. We'll seal that up. That's good until we have a full bag and then we'll just take it to the road. Now, like I said, this is just used for the actual um, sifting. We're use this one for litter, so dump everything out here, put the screen back, and this guy here is ready to go back. So now, just like with scooping litter, as you use up the uh, wood pellets, you'll just grab a scoop here and there and dump that in. Keep it full and either stir it up or let the cats do that. Next, we're going to look at a trick we use to keep the litter smells down, and that's using these rocks. Now, I know what you're thinking. Kurt, have you gone crazy with some celebrity healing crystals? But no, these are called zeolite rocks and they're good at absorbing odors. And they use these in aquariums and stuff like that. But I find they work great if you just put a great big pile of them near your litter boxes. They just absorb all the smell. And then eventually they just soak up enough smell that they no longer absorb anymore. And at that time you just put them on a cookie tray, throw them in your oven for a little while and all the smell capacity gets recharged. Now, these are quite expensive and kind of tricky to find. I bought them on Amazon and I'll put the link for them below. These I bought from like a pets shop supplier for aquariums, so they're a little bit bigger. And I think I bought 15 pounds of these and I have them in a few places by the litter boxes, by the cat food bowls, because there's smell that comes off of that as well. And you can buy smaller ground up pieces that probably work just as good, but I was looking for a big quantity, so I ordered the five pound bags. So like I said, I'll put a link to both of those in this video. And now these have been out for probably a month and I'm starting to smell a little bit of like the cat pee smell around the litter boxes. So I'm going to uh, throw them in the oven and recharge them right now. All right, so I've got my pan in, and I'm just gonna grab those. All right, so we're gonna go throw that in. So we've got our tray of zeolite rocks in the oven, and we have that at 350. We're gonna throw it in there for 30 minutes. And we'll come back in a little bit. Okay, so our 30 minutes are up. Let me take those rocks out. Nice and toasty. Oh boy. All right, so now I'm gonna let those cool off. Okay, to put these back now. should do the job okay so as usual uh, thanks for watching this video guys uh, I really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button on these videos please subscribe if you haven't already you'll get updates on future videos I put out if you have any comments on this video I'd like to hear them um, are you using this stuff are you using something else Do you think something might be better or more cost-effective let me know in the comment section and thanks again for watching